Hi guys, you're with DJ Needin, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about harassment. There just seems to be so much of this going on in the media that it's it's really you know risen to the forefront of my mind. And uh, I really wanted to talk about food issues this week. Man, I'm just like I'm so keen to talk about food issues, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. But I've really had the chance to hear some like really cool, amazing stuff from people around me about food. So, you know, I'm kind of glad that I haven't started talking about it because I'll be able to integrate those things. And um, today, I just wanted to touch on harassment a little bit because I just finished watching the bus monitor video and it's awful. I'm not gonna recommend that you watch it. Um, Although at the same time, I always feel compelled to witness things. I think that when um, when nasty things happen in the world, that we shouldn't just sit by and, and turn a blind eye, that we do need to witness things. And not just witness things, but actually get involved and figure out what it is that we can do or say to help in some way to make nasty situations better. The bus video is, um, if you haven't watched it, and I mean almost two million people have watched it at this point, so you probably have, but if you haven't, it's a bunch of <laughs> kids doing awful things, saying awful things to a woman who's riding on their bus. And I think it's it's so much worse because this woman is doing something that's protective. She's you know being a, a good community volunteer and doing something good for these kids and for the school. And the kids are just being so abusive towards her and like literally for no reason. And I think um, you know if you've been on the end of harassment, and I have a, a number of different points, not like continuously through my life, but I have been on the receiving end. Um, you always think like, what did I do? You know, like what, what did I do that was so awful that you would do this? And the answer is nothing. Like she literally, there is nothing that she could have done that would have warranted what these kids say to her and do to her on this bus ride. And uh, it's just absolutely awful. There's absolutely no excuse for it whatsoever. And it has nothing to do with this woman. It has everything to do with the people that you don't even see on camera, all of these kids. It has to do with them. And what I'm astounded by time after time after time is the ripple effect that bullies have. It can be one person and the effect that their words and actions have, which are so insignificant in the grand scheme of life and the universe and, you know, all of that. This one person and, you know, when you're talking about kids, like this one kid this one shit disturber can create a ripple effect that affects so many people. It's incredible. And I think that that really warrants our attention, not just the bus monitor video, but harassment in general. I don't think that um, we can sit by and tolerate this anymore. And when I say that, I mean um, that we can't do things just like this, you know, like just you know, tweeting and, and posting pictures and things on Facebook and making YouTube videos. I think that we need to step it up a notch and get involved with our local schools to figure out how we're really going to resolve this when people are at a young age. Because I'll tell you something, I've dealt with people into adulthood now who don't grow out of it. So, you know, when I was in grade seven and eight, I went through what a lot of girls go through that sort of, you know, bitch fest of totally tearing someone down and uh, making them feel like they have absolutely no value. They're not worth even living. And I was a giver of that. And I also ended up being on the receiving end of that. And, um, just I even like I still have my journals from that period of time like I can't even believe some of the stuff that I wrote and I've come out of that you know like I would never in my life now imagine speaking that way about someone or treating someone that way you know I I just can't even fathom that I ever did that so people do grow out of it but that isn't always the case and you know I dealt with this uh, user today on YouTube who was posting on my video and he just like he was incessant about it, posting, 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 really nasty things. And I was like, dude, if you don't like my video, then just don't watch it. Like, if you didn't think this was worth your while, then 
why are you investing so much energy in attacking me? And like very personally attacking me. I'm not going to get into the stuff that he said, but it was like really personal stuff and really nasty. And um, I think that the, I've witnessed this enough in life where there are grown adults who haven't grown out of that bully thing. They found that it worked for them. And so they continue it later in life. It's a really massive problem, not just for kids, but these are behaviors that can continue. If it works when they're young, they will continue just like any of us do. Like we figure out what works for us in our life and we continue in that behavior because it's worked for us. And bullies continue in that behavior too and they become adult bullies. And so I think that that's really uh, worth our attention and that the bus monitor video along with you know numerous other cases that are in the media and going on right now um, can really raise our our awareness about bullying and aggression and uh, open hostility, hate crimes and um, harassment that as, uh, you know, as adults, we're in a position in our lives where we're able to have an enormous amount of influence and voice and that we need to get into the schools in our communities, especially if you're a parent, that you need to start getting into your school community and go to student council, see what's actually going on and what the school's doing because so many schools have incredible initiatives that the parents aren't even aware of. You know, so get into your school, talk to the teachers, make sure that you're a bit of a presence there. Just take a little bit of time and get involved in uh, local schools. And that's just one thing that we can do. You can also not tolerate this crap when you see it. It doesn't matter if it's someone that you know or not, you can step in. I know that means that often, like, that means that attention's going to be, you know, uh, or the harassment is then gonna be directed at you, but, um, We've got to step in and start sharing the load, so to speak. So anyway, that's my two cents on harassment. And there's a lot more. I'm, uh, I'm going to get into the uh, teen suicide aspect of that as well a little later on because I have had some, um, some comments expressed to me that, uh, that I'd like to talk about openly. So if you have anything along that lines and you want to message me directly, all of the information to do that is below. Check me out in all of the places that I am. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll talk to you again really soon.